Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be considering some of the Spiritual Gems comments for the week of October 14th to 20, 2024. So friends, we welcome you, thanks for joining us, and now, let's jump right in. For this week's Bible reading, we have Psalm 96 to 99. Let's start with the first question, comes from Psalm 96 verse 1. Let's read it. Sing to Jehovah a new song. Sing to Jehovah all the earth. So the expression. In most occurrences, what is the significance of the expression new song? And it's really important. It's really significant. For example, an examination of the context surrounding most occurrences of the expression new song reveals that such is sung because of a new development in Jehovah's exercise of his universal sovereignty. For example, verse 10 of this Psalm 96 mentions that Jehovah has become king. Because of that, the expression new song. That is why. Let's move on to the next question. What spiritual gems from this week's Bible reading would you like to share? Let's begin with number one. We have Psalm 96 verse 1 and we already read it. So this verse motivates us to sing songs, kingdom songs at the meetings with joy and happiness. Number two, Psalm 96 verse 3 says, declare his glory among the nations, his wonderful works among all the peoples. This verse says about proclaiming and declaring the wonderful works of Jehovah. We do this when we are participating in the ministry, door to door, informal witnessing, public witnessing, return visits, and conducting Bible courses. So, Another way to preach is with our good conduct. We recommend ourselves as ministers of God through our good example. Number 3. 96.4 says, Jehovah is great and most worthy of praise. He's more awe-inspiring than all other gods. Repeatedly, the organization reminds us that we must praise Jehovah, not the creation. But many people today, they are doing the opposite. It's very common for many people today praising, even worshipping their celebrities, their actors, their artists, even political and religious leaders. But we, on the other hand, must be determined to praise Jehovah our God. Number 4 96 7 says, Give Jehovah his due, you families of the peoples. Give Jehovah his due for his glory and strength. So this teaches us that it's very important to be generous instead of keeping with ourselves what belongs to Jehovah. And one way to give Jehovah what is his due is when we are contributing or helping with some money in the congregation. And yes, it's true we are not under the Mosaic law, the 10%, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't contribute or help with the expenses of our kinder hall or the worldwide work. And Jehovah will bless our lives because we are giving what is what He's due. Okay, number five. Ninety six thirteen says before Jehovah for he is coming. Is coming to judge the earth, he'll judge the inhabited earth with righteousness. 
and peoples with his faithfulness. So this teaches and reminds us that Jehovah is the judge of all the earth. He and his beloved son, Jesus, they will judge the nations and will pass sentence. And this makes us think about the adjustments of understandings regarding the resurrection. We already received this new update about some subjects. There are things that we simply don't know. But instead of going beyond what is written, instead of thinking about some theories, we trust that Jehovah and his son will do what is right. Okay, number six. Psalm 97 verse 1 says, Jehovah has become king. Let the earth be joyful. Let many islands rejoice. This teaches us that there are people on remote, remote islands who are sheep. They are like sheep. And many brothers have made their own arrangements, sacrifices by themselves to go and preach to them with their own money, their own resources, and help them spiritually. Number seven. The same scripture reminds us the life story of brother Jeffrey Jackson, a member of the governing body. His biography began with this verse as a superscription. We find out it in the Watchtower study, August. 2015, and Brother Jackson preached in several places and islands, and he has been working hard in the translation significantly. He's been promoting the translation of the languages from the headquarters. 8. 97 verse 9 says, For you, O Jehovah, are the Most High over all the earth. You are exalted far above all other gods. This reminds us that we are made in the image of God, but we are not at the same level of God. That doesn't mean we are on the same level. Instead of that, we recognize our position. We are here, but Jehovah is the Most High over all the earth. Number 9. 97 verse 10. This says, O you who love Jehovah, hate what is bad. He is guarding the lives of his loyal ones. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Teach us that it's not enough to knowing, just knowing what is bad. For example, many people today, they know what is really bad. For example, smoking, but they don't care at all. They are smoking anyway. Others are driving their vehicles, watching their phones. They know they shouldn't do so, but they don't really care. They are doing so. So this teaches us that just knowing what is wrong, what is bad, is not enough. We must hate it. And this includes bad thoughts, immoral videos, even immoral video games. And we'll find out that this is a daily struggle. But getting God's approval is worth it. Finally, number 10. Psalm 96 verse Psalm 99 verse 6 reads, Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel was among those calling on his name. They would call to Jehovah, and he would answer them. So, this makes us think about our prayers. When we are praying, we are calling, we are asking Jehovah's help. As the Bible says, we 
are calling to Jehovah and that's a significant point so we we should be able it's very important to be attentive to Jehovah's answer and always thanks him give thanks to him because he's answering our call our prayers okay friends that's a wrap for this video we want to say thank you thanks for joining us thanks for watching we hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in our next broadcast